dear Miss Duncan, why bother to go to all that fuss for a young man who was a druggie and behaved so badly in court laughing and joking? What will you do with all that money foolishly donated by idiots who respond to the begging GoFundMe? Stupid, no doubt, we will ever be told. Everybody wanted a you know, Jay's story. I just mm. I didn't I weren't aware of what were going on like back back in like back here. I weren't aware of what were going on. I would have sat in a, a room in in Tenerife getting terrorised by, well, tr trolls, just calls, we, we, we know where Jay is, he's done this, he's done that, uh, all these videos that were going around with, you know, voice, uh, you know, like girls screaming Jay and oh, he's been stabbed on a beach and oh my God, he, yeah. the, the story, was, they were just unreal. I can't even describe the kind of human beings that they are really to sit and go through to all that trouble all that effort to just rip me apart mm. by trying to say that you know i mean oh he's he's in a hall he's chained up and mm. oh, just disgusting absolutely disgusting i wouldn't wish it upon anybody that the torment that i've had to go through and that I'm still going through. I got a, I can't even remember what it on the, uh, um, what do you call it? WhatsApp, WhatsApp message, yeah. a WhatsApp message. You'll never see your boy again. He owes me all this money. And I thought, well, what is going on here? We've only just, yeah. <laughs> we've only just arrived in Tenerife and like, what the hell? But, yeah. I mean, I, want, I wanted to believe that, he, that he'd been, chained up because at least that way I knew that he was still breathing somewhere. I wanted to believe he'd been kidnapped and he were being held because I thought, well, <laughs> you know, he's alive somewhere. You know, anything, he was still breathing. That, that was my, as, as horrible as it were. The, the first night, second night, I said to Zach, I said, there's a pen there and a, and a pad. So we'll start writing these numbers down within, what, half an hour? We had a full, a full page. And then obviously because I'm up, I, I do what, I have WhatsApp, they were ringing me on WhatsApp, sending me images on WhatsApp and videos on WhatsApp. The ones that look like Jay that, that have got, he's got something wrapped around his neck that he's all beaten. I mean, somebody got sent a video and somebody sent it to the Spanish police, actually, of a young lad being beaten. The Spanish police actually did act upon that, but it wasn't Jay. Oh, they tracked it down there, it like but the, 10 years ago in the, Russia. Yeah, they ended they up tracing the it. Down, yeah. yeah, it's like this. these people kept frantically trying to contact me to say, go to the beach. Yeah. There's a video of um, somebody digging a hole on the beach and it looks like they've dragged a body into this hole and oh, you just, honestly, you just, you just wouldn't believe the stuff that we got sent. You know, and you're thinking, oh my God, and you're watching it and you're watching it. You know, I mean, mm. Spanish police did give us a private number to WhatsApp any, anything that we thought relevant. Probably kids, you know, like young kids. I mean, you could tell weekend came and it was like, obviously they weren't at school. But I think if I'd have took every single one on board, I'd, I'd probably be in a, a bloody locked up in a padded cell by now. There were one that, that got reported, but it was just a young kid who lived miles and miles away. And I've still, I've got the, the letter there and I just think, is there any point now? Just loads of messages, just making his own story up, really, about Jay that he'd been that he'd been murdered, and he made made out that that it were him that had pushed him. Yeah. I would love I'd yeah. love to be a law against what people have done to our family. I would absolutely love it. Um, something needs to be done. 
because it was just vile. I would like to pursue, definitely, yeah. I just don't know how people can just get away with destroying people. I mean, whoever mm. thought it were a good idea to start all these pages, Facebook pages, Jay, Jay Slater missing, Jay Slater discussions, Jay Slater this, Jay Slater that. They just, do they, do, you know, do they not have jobs? I don't know. How do they find time to, to do these things? It's, it's shocking. The money is still sat there and I'm scared of even touching it, which I were right from the beginning. And they've had to kind of reassure me that you know, these people donated because they wanted to donate, because Jay obviously touched the hearts of, of the nation and they wanted to help his family, which they have helped his family because obviously we we stayed in Tenerife for six weeks. We all came out, we all funded everything because we obviously didn't know what what were ahead of us. But yeah, we've had, we've had to use some for accommodation and to stay there for all that time getting up to the capital, to, you know, to the police station, going up to the funeral place. Obviously, we've got a, we've got funeral costs now. We've got the files not closed for repatriation. As I've said, he's got, they've got a property. They've got things that they've kept for the post-mortem in Tenerife that we're still going to have to arrange for repatriation again. It's just I don't know when it's when it's going to end.